You've got astronomy and physics, botany and ecology, zoology, geology, chemistry and biology. Wanna understand the world and all that it is? Then sit back and kick it with this is the science with. Welcome to today's episode of Science with Miss Liz. Science Wiz. I'm your host, The Wiz, Miss Klauka. On today's episode, we'll talk about pathogens and the spread of infectious disease. A pathogen is a microorganism that can cause diseases like bacteria, fungi, parasites, or viruses. Though all pathogens are infectious, not all of them are contagious. Infectious simply means that a pathogen can be spread. They are often spread by food and water, contaminated surfaces like a railing or a door handle, or a vector, which are things like plants and animals. In order for a pathogen to be contagious, it must be able to spread from person to person. This can be through water droplets like a cough or a sneeze, or sometimes even airborne, meaning they can simply live in the air, though this does not apply to many. Even though all pathogens cause disease, viruses are often the culprit of widespread disease outbreak. This is because they vary greatly from all other pathogens. Viruses are non-living agents that infect host cells and contain their own DNA. Unlike other pathogens, a virus needs a host cell in order to reproduce and spread. Since pathogens can be spread in so many ways, the best way to combat them is simply by washing your hands. To show why that is so valuable, try these at-home experiments. For your first experiment, all you'll need is a cup of water, pepper, dish soap, and a small plate. The first thing you'll do is take your water and pour it on the surface of the plate. You wanna make sure the water covers the entire plate and that it's not too deep. Next, you'll take your pepper and you're going to sprinkle a good layer of pepper on the top of the water. The pepper in this case is going to represent our virus or our pathogen. You'll take your finger, dip it in your water, and gently place it on the surface of the pepper. You should see the pepper move a little bit, that's okay. Next, you're going to test the difference that soap makes. So you're going to put a little bit of soap on the edge of your finger. Go ahead and rub it in. And then find another spot where there's a lot of pepper and gently place your hand on the surface. What you should see is the pepper is immediately repelled by the dish soap. For this experiment, you'll need a sink, a ballpoint pen, some soap, and some hand sanitizer. So the first thing you're going to do with your ballpoint pen is you're going to write a word on your hands. I'm going to write the word germs. Next, you're going to turn on the sink and wash your hands with water for 20 seconds. Now, let's try it with the soap. Now let's try the same thing, but with hand sanitizer. As you can see, both methods were effective at removing germs from your hands. While hand sanitizer worked, simple soap and water for 20 seconds is still your best bet. <clears throat> Victor the virus, you are being charged with attempted infection of these cells. Do you have anything to say for yourself? How can I be tried as a living thing? Without their cells, I'm nothing. 
can't even grow or reproduce on my own. Come on, people. That's our show. Thanks for watching. Remember, cover your mouth when you cough and always wash your hands. And as always, keep investigating. You've got astronomy and physics, botany and ecology, zoology, geology, chemistry and biology. Wanna understand the world and all that it is? Then sit back and kick it with this, this is science with.